Ah, come on, let's get there already. Yo, guys, this is no joke, bro. We're getting invaded. I knew it that it would come one day. Listen, today is the day to be as most professional as you can. Turn up the radio a little bit. I want to hear what they are saying. Ladies and gentlemen, a sea monster that is said to be living in the Pacific Ocean has alerted the entire west coast of the United States, putting it on a military radar level of three. So far, we only have one cruise oh, crap, ship what are you in the doing, vast bro? ocean Can't you park that we it like can't a get information from back. The authorities hoping to only be a radio issue and that they didn't interfere with the so-called creature. Stay blah, tuned blah, for blah. more I don't news care what the they are saying. They like to lie a lot on the news lie. anyways. Let's go and see it with our own eyes. And what is this shit over here? Why are there so many cops sitting at the seaside? It's not like the monster is going to see the police and say, ah, bro, I really don't want to go to jail today. Let me go back in the ocean. They are ready to retrieve a regurgitated cruise ship. Didn't you hear? This sea monster has taken a cruise ship with him. They ain't responding anymore. Oh my, why? Why are we here? We need to be in a bunker somewhere, not right by the ocean where a monster is having fun. I don't want to become his toy. All I hear is a little bitch worrying about the wrong thing. You should be worried about the safety of this country, Biden. Try not to be selfish for a day. You just gave him an impossible challenge. But what is the reason that we came here? How can we help it? It's not like we can assemble some killer whales and jump the monster I saw it, or something. Bro. I don't saw it with my own eyes. Um, that red thing is, is huge. Saying? And my friends are on the cruise ship. Oh no, this is it. This is the end of the world. How come something like this even exists? I've never seen anything so big. It was the yeah, Boys, we're, we're going there. Let's see what we got. Can't even have a chill ice cream Tuesday anymore. If I'm catching any monster lacking, I'm filling him up with bullets head to tail. I've had enough of my days being disturbed by events like this. I'm going to take all my anger out on this one. Let him see what a true patriot is willing to do to protect his country. Come on, boys, we're about to kill him. Or we're about to get killed. One of these two is possible today. We don't even know who we are going to face in the first place. So I guess that we're just going to do it. Ah, man, I love these adventures. It brings so much adrenaline that it makes me feel a man again after Michelle beats me nightly because I didn't wash the dishes. Wait, I'm oversharing again? Nah, you're not. Don't worry, it's not like it isn't a known fact that Michelle is putting you to respect daily. But shit, you chose him, so you can't really complain. And yo, you're right. If things don't go as planned, can't we call her to come and save the day once again? All she needs to do is to put that monster in a chokehold and drag him in the deep depths of the ocean where the pressure is going to kill him. Obviously, Michelle is made out of titanium and her muscles can sustain great amount of pressure, so it wouldn't be a problem for her. Nah, she can't. She said she ain't going to help us anymore ever since that incident where Michelle got us out of prison. Whatever, we don't need her. Now, come on. How scary can it be? Yeah, boys, that's it. Trump go back and we tell the people that we just saw Optimus Prime dancing with a dolphin. We get in the car and leave it as if what happened today was a legend and the cruise ship just disappeared into thin air. I ain't fighting nothing that looks like that. That isn't even a monster. That's a giga monstrous, ferocious 3000 Tyrannosaurus Michelis creature. Abort the mission now. We can't leave the people on the ship get eaten by a whatever this thing is. Oh my, it's like it is dragging the crews with his breath or by an unknown force. Let's keep a fair distance so we don't get sucked in as well. Joe, get off that gun, you degenerate. I'm not going to leave our people to get killed without trying to help. Without trying to help to kill them as well? Or what? You do realize that if we upset him, the whole country is at risk. Bro can eat the entire Los Angeles with one bite if he wants to. Let's not make things worse by shooting him. I mean, I guess it's too late now. Whatever, shoot him. Come on, Donald, put some bullets in his disgusting eyeballs, bro. How do we keep finding ourselves in the most unexpected scenarios at the most unexpected time? <laughs> It, it isn't working. The cruise ship still gets dragged inside. Oh no, what have we done? Obama, you are indeed right. This is too late now. We can't go back. Come on, you prick. Go back to wherever you came from and leave our soil unharmed. We don't want you here. You're not welcome. Am I tripping or is he getting angrier? Ha, huh, nice, you just upset the, the train eater. We're just gonna name him the train eater. Well, I guess the next step really is for him to eat Los Angeles and we're standing here shooting him and he probably doesn't feel anything but anger right now. If only I knew being a president comes with this. I would have tried to be one way before Obama even considered running. And I ain't talking about running for presidency, but running in general or walking. I was 50 when Obama was a toddler. You're one of the most bipolar and weird guys I know, Joe. Didn't you say a minute ago how you hate it when your days are disturbed by events like these? And now you say that you like them? What the actual f Okay, I'm not sure how all of a sudden the rain started. Since all week it was supposed to be sunny and beautiful weather. But this is a dead end right here, boys. We can't help the cruise ship with anything anymore. Not even the police and military want to come here. We were the only brave ones. Let's get back to the shore and fly as far as possible from the city. Maybe go up north somewhere. And what is Biden doing? Hey, idiot, 
Come back. There are big waves. Oh, shit. This water is cold. Why didn't you tell me it will be this cold? Ah! Help! Come here. Don't leave me stranded. You Trump hear me out, floor this bitch and leave him here, the monster is going to eat Biden and then he's going to throw up because you know it's Biden and then he will no longer want to eat humans. There you have it. Problem solved. Get in, Joe, already. You heard Obama. Don't make me try his plan out. And what were you doing jumping in the water anyways? Are you insane? No, because you're really pissing me off. What did I tell both of you before we even got to the beach to be professional? And now you're just jumping in the water with waves up to three meters in the middle of a storm because... Because I saw an ice cream cone in the water and I thought I found a treasure. Dang it, can I do anything around here without being criticized? Look, I'm all right and nothing happened to me. Only my balls shrank because of how cold that water was. But besides that, I'm fine. And Obama, you dipshit, you wanted me to get thrown as food to that monster, huh? And you want me to call you my friend after that or what, pathetic prick? Didn't you say that you are a true patriot? I was just testing your patriotism, that's all. Test your wife for steroid use, buddy, and leave me alone. I am a patriot. But I still have to get to the office today so I can close the deal on a money laundering scheme that also involves some tax fraud and a couple of millions stolen from our people. Looking back on it, this was a dumb idea. We really could have died there. This boat doesn't have any safety features. And if you stick a knife to the side of it, this whole thing sinks. And I'm starting to get shaky a little bit as well because the storm just got worse. And I don't know how much this boat can endure. Let's just all hope that we can get to the shore safe. I don't know if I'm hallucinating or what's the matter, but I can't be the only one seeing those things in the sky right. It looks like there are some tall buildings floating around the city. Ah! Ah! Why are you screaming, idiot? Oh, I see it too now. Ah! What the, bro? That monster is here. Or is it another one? Oh my, that scared the shit out of me. This is not looking good at all. I don't know if it has to do with what we did to that creature, but I can clearly see those things in the sky as well. Barack, you're not the only one, and you're not hallucinating. I don't know what is happening, but something ain't right. Listen, the plan is as follows. As soon as I get out of the boat, we run straight into the presidential car. After that, we're rushing to the airport so we can take the helicopter and leave the city as soon as possible. Come on. I just saw now what you were referring to, but those doesn't look like tall buildings to me. Those are, oh no, those are the sea monsters in the sky? What is going on, bro? And how do you plan on flying a helicopter in this storm? We're, we're trapped in the city. I think our only option is truly to get in a bunker and stay there until I don't know. They leave us alone. Funny enough, I think not even Michelle can get us out of this one. I don't know how to say it to you guys, but if we don't manage to get to that helicopter and get out of here, I don't think we can stand a chance. We should have never poked the bear. Now look, their entire family is taking over the city. Can't stand these illegals. Yeah, Joe, look what inadequate border control can do to a country. I'm starting to agree with Trump on this one. Start implementing more restricted regulations because otherwise we end up with sea monsters eating buildings and levitating over our country. Wow, now a meteor shower started. Alongside the strongest winds I've ever experienced, good thing we're in a 15-ton car made out of steel. I hope you're wise enough to realize that in a meteor shower accompanied by a storm, it's not recommended to fly with a helicopter, Trump. So can we stick to my bunker plan? Or more easily said, can we stick to life? Taking your plan is like a death sentence. Taking my plan is the only right thing to do. These things can eat anything, Joe. We just witnessed one of them eating a cruise ship, and now some of them are eating buildings. They can eat your bunker and the soil around it in one bite. Trust me, it isn't safe to stay here. And by car, we can't get much further either. The roads are getting blocked by meteors, as you can see. My plan still stands. And if you don't like it, you're free to take a walk to your bunker. Or maybe call for a taxi. Call for a taxi? Lil bro, you don't know me. Throw me out of the car if you're so tough. I'll meet you guys at the airport while I'm riding one of these creatures flying through the sky and diving in the oceans, becoming king of their reign. I will be the most respected human between them. My survival instincts are elite, buddy, so try me and you will see. As much as I hate you and hope that a meteor falls on top of you, I still appreciate our friendship and I wouldn't want you to be dead in a matter of seconds as soon as you step out of the car so I'll refuse your proposal. Just shut up and thank me later. Joe, your survival skills are equal to a donkey. If I gave you a stick in the wilderness, you'd probably hit your head with it while saying ooga booga, demanding ice cream until you fall asleep from exhaustion. And that wouldn't take long either, since you tend to sleep 23 hours out of 24 hours a day. As a matter of fact, if I were with you in the wilderness and you gave me a stick, I would have shoved it up your ass for all the times you made me do unforgettable things as a vice president, such as that one time when we were importing the stolen oil reserves of Ah, what, what happened? Are we alive? 
What hit us like that? Was there a flying tank or something? Nah, this is insane. Let's, let's keep going. Go to the airport. I don't know what that was, but it knocked me out for a second. That's what I mean when I say that we can't stay on the ground. We need to fly, as risky as it is. At this point, you're taking way more risks by trying to escape with a car from the city. I'm wondering how you plan on fixing all of this Biden. It will take some time to bring it back to normal if these sea monsters that are now air monsters decide to devour every building they see. Why do I have to be the one fixing it? And if things keep going this way, I'm sorry to say it, bro. But what are you seeing around you right now is about to get turned into Nuketown. I can't see any other way of getting rid of them. Come on, Obama, hurry up. Apparently, the police is now mad at us for trying to save our country. Get inside. All right, hear me out, boys. If we want to make it to safety, I'll need all of you to be aware and watch out for meteors. If you see one coming towards us, tell me in what direction to go so I can avoid it. Okay, but before we do that, can any of you tell me again which one was right and which one was left? I don't want to tell you to go left and mean right and then get into a meteor. Forget about it. This is why I keep telling you that you shouldn't have skipped classes in kindergarten. Bro, I managed to get through life saying it randomly every Every time. That's why I don't even know where to go most of the times when I get directions in the earpiece and I end up lost. What did I tell you, Biden? Do you see now how easy it is to fly a helicopter through a storm and a meteor shower? Yeah.